Just first off then, Billy, obviously the start of a new league campaign, how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I'm excited, like every season I think if you ask any manager or the staff or the players, they just can't wait to get the season started. Been good so far, getting out of the group stage, um, but certainly the, the league season kicks in, it gives you that bit of uh, adrenaline, that excitement, so looking forward to it. Especially considering the you know what form you're coming in after that you know obviously good run in the the Premier Sports Cup. How much does that help things? Yeah, but when I, well I've had both sides it because when I came here last year we didn't make out the group and we had problems to solve, and uh, you don't really want that. Um, you want to get into it with momentum. Um, we've come through a tough group and we've come out it, so that can only give you confidence going into. I would be. I would be embracing that as a player. I am as a manager, but my players I hope they embrace it and take it into the league uh, start. Obviously, like you're saying when you first uh, you were spe- you're speaking there about when you first joined. Now that you've obviously been in the job, here, how are you how are you feeling going ahead of this next season? Great. I mean, I just got that experience uh, anyway. Where I said I've been coaching for twenty odd years. It's just it's just. Yeah, it's, it's great that I'm uh, in, in a job looking forward to the season I've got a brilliant group of players you see the quality we've got um, I've said to them again today look, we're a good team you know how teams are going to come here and try and frustrate us we have to find a way to to figure that out and how to win games like Cove did on Saturday I thought Cove were organised excellently we got the early goal and we just kind of switched off a wee but that's going to happen throughout the season and when we go away for him there'll be tough games as well so um, we know that we've got to just try and find a formula to win games whether it's tough it out whether it's play well and just win it which would be great or you know no switch off at certain times and have that focus there was a couple of things I said to them after the game where we can get better at and if we get better at them we'll be harder to beat so that's what we're aiming to do. And just moving on to Saturday's opponents in Queen's Park, what are you making of them? Obviously the Championship New Boys this, this year. Yeah, I've had them reports on them. Um, very good on the ball, very tidy when it comes to moving the ball, getting into pockets, especially from middle to front. Um, well, it's up to us to try and break them down and put them on the back foot. They've signed a few players as well. So, yeah, they, they like to get the ball down and play. They like to get their full-backs forward, but hopefully we can stop that. We're at home. We must take the, the game to them and make sure we do the right things. But we're a tough opponent like Cove were, so we can't take anything for granted. Obviously a club with uh, lots of history as well, being the, the oldest in Scotland as well. Does that add something to the league? Um, it's, it's a... It's a it's a good story they're going on, isn't it? They come up through the leagues, um, went from amateur to professional, and then suddenly they're, they're making their way up and end up in the championship after an incredible uh, playoff, a couple of games in the playoff last season. So, fair credit to them and try to build. There's a lot of money going into them with the Glasgow businessman that's putting the money in, and um, they are. They are on their way up, so we have to try and stem that early on in the season and make sure show we them why we are why we got to the playoffs last year because we're a good team. Good stuff. Uh, that's all for me. Cheers. Cup campaign so far, softened the blow last season. Now you've been in for a month and a bit. Now does that make last season a distant memory? Um, yeah, in a way, but I, I, do you know what, Stevie? I, I just I was desperate out the, the group last season. We didn't, but. It's, it's not happened for you for a long time and I've seen a couple of Premier League managers going on about this, the format and the setup of it um, so there's nothing to be taken for granted coming in early we had less than a month off this year I think we've shown where we are and we've progressed as a club and we're in a good place whether it's with squad numbers, squad balance and, and good players that's the one thing that we've not got to forget but we've got to take that onto the pitch week in week out if we want to uh, go where we want to go in this league but it's going to be tough um, there's no doubt about it I, I'm st- uh, listen I'm, I'm over last season of course it, it, it does soften the blow to an extent but you still want to win every game you, you take part in definitely this, I, don't, I don't obviously you want to win every game the little eyes and ears on Queen's part this weekend because of what they're doing is that add any pressure or are you just focus your own team and <clears throat> I think we've got to focus on ourselves make sure we do our jobs the, the work we're capable of because we're still favourites going into the game um, 
we're an established championship team, Queen's partner and a brilliant story as I say, kind of fairy tale, and they'll be what to carry on because I know they want to get to the Premier League. Um, but we have to look after ourselves. It's what we do in this game. Um, if Queen's Park play well, we have to be right at it, play as well as we can to beat them. But that's the way it's going to be most weeks. And as I said to you, some weeks will be just the rough and tumble of the championship. Some weeks will be um, we play well and win. And some weeks will be, you know, teams will come and frustrate us. We've got to find a way to get through them. Yeah, it's a massive amazing outlook for the club going forward. Um, trip to Fat Park. Is that a good early season gauge for you and the boys to see hopefully what next season is going to look like against a Premier League opposition? Um, I'm going to watch the game tonight because I play in Sligo in the second leg. I watched the first game, um, and Sligo are excellent, so we're more than capable. But I think we'll cross that bridge when we come to Stevie Boy. I think we've if we start looking a month ahead, we're in trouble. Ah, true, true. All right, well, I'll check you too. Cheers. Hey, Molly, how you doing? All right. Well, good stuff. Um, I apologise to Scott Allardyce on the start of the day. He was good enough to come out to speak to me, but I never realised he broke his nose during the game. How's he doing? Yeah, fine. He's uh, he's looking. He's got a black eye, so uh, the big man's got war wounds. Um, we bit like a panda, but apart from that, he's uh, he's okay. Um, it's just to, to be honest with you, he's not let him, let it affect him because he's just trained as normal all week. So not really good, big Scotty. Got a sore one, though. He got a sore one. Aye, it's good enough. It's a hardy chill if you can come out and speak after that. So. Well, uh, it was uh, it was off his big uh, flatmate as well, wasn't it? It was big DZ that caught him. So um, I don't know if they were arguing about it that night later on, or he was blaming him. But anyway, it's who needs enemies, eh? He's okay for tomorrow, is he? He is, yeah, yeah. Ah, good deal, good deal. And then just looking at the the championship, who, who do you say are the main contenders in your opinion? <coughs> apart from themselves, of course. Um, I think everybody will get into it with a bit of excitement, and fancy their chances. When you see what happened with Abroath last year, the part-time team and nobody expecting, they were up there charging right to the commander game. You can't take anything for granted here. Um, we just have to look after ourselves. You saw the, the, you saw what we built last year with the playoffs, the momentum. You saw the fan base that we had. We need to keep that going. We need the fans to turn up. I, I see the club have done this week. Um, drop the price and match day if you get them early for eighteen quid. I mean, we're doing all we can to get to get fans here. So we, we we've already spoken about what we built with the fans. We want to continue that. And if we can get them turning up the numbers, they help us. They've got to realise they help us. And then when they get behind us and we win games, you can see where it can take you. So we're hopeful the same again. That's all for me, Billy, thanks. Cheers, Will. I think I was just going to ask you about that. Because I'm reading this morning about the tickets from last, you know, sure. when there are other clubs in the Championship where they've risen their, their prices, you know, so it's a, it's a big and bold decision from the board at Inverness, you know, because every penny counts, but, you, you know, the backing of the fans can help you as a club. Yeah, but this, this is a club that needs finance, absolutely. A, a fan base, a good fan base, but a, a small fan base as well. And um, to take that decision, I thought it was great. And the fans, um, I hope they buy into it because I think the board have realised that how we can attract them. Section 94 last season, then the numbers grew. The, not, not just the playoffs went on. Um, it was more to do with the, the momentum we built. And it was even the latter stages of the league games when we go on that good run against the Broad and we build it. The fans start turning up. And then the, you see the numbers that they took down to St Johnston, away to Abroad, away to Party Thistle. That's what we want again. And I think the club recognise that. And to, to slash the prices is a big step for us and we hope that the fans take advantage of it. And just a, a wee word about Saturday, we speak to a Queen's Park fan yesterday who's really excited to be back in his team back in the, the championship, you know, saying that his midfielder particularly strong and he thinks they'll bring excitement to, to the league. I, th- I suppose every club on the opening days looked to put down a marker on it. You want a good start, you don't want to chase your tail and you saw last season where we got the seven, was it six or seven straight wins, and um, we were flying, and it set us up. Although we did it, we disappoint and blip in the middle of the season, but it set us up to 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 take it where it took us, 
and get in those playoffs. We want the same again. I'm not saying we'll win every game, but you want to go off to a good start. You want to lay down your foundation, your platform, you build for there. And um, we're no different with that. We know that if we play well with a good team, we know that we'll lose games if we're not at it. So the boys the boys realise that they're, they're good lads, they, they, they're honest and they look at themselves at times and sometimes I don't have to speak. They know how disappointed I'm and they lift themselves. Just finally, Sean Welsh and Danny Devine, are they close at all, Billy? Danny's getting there. Um, yeah, Welsh has had to have a wee tidy up job and his knee, so um, we're hoping that he'll be back soon. I think it went really well, it was really positive. It's a thing that's been ongoing, he's been trying to manage it, but sometimes there comes a time when we need to do it, and that's what's happened. So hopefully, he'll not be out too long. But um, he's a top player for us, you know, Sean. Danny's getting really close, which is great news. Okay, okay, thank you, Billy. Cheers. Cheers.